Hey, como mai, so it's not a new Floyd. And mahalo for your time as well. So, you are in Alakai since 1986, as well as a board member of Una International, a kumuhula, a lomi lomi, a kinomana, and a huna teacher. You have been teaching together with Serge King since 1987, and you present your courses also on the US mainland, in Europe, Russia, and Japan. And since last year, uh, Serge decided to take more time for writing, you, uh, he turned over the Sharma courses to you as well. So Susan, looking on this, uh, looking back on this profound background, what has been the most important impact Serge and his former teachings have had on you and your life? Well, it's based on the fifth principle, the to love is to be happy with. This changed my health, it changed my understanding of how my thinking affected my health and that tool was it is an ongoing gift and that's why i began to teach it was not my thinking that i would do that but sometimes when things help you so much you can't keep that inside you have to share absolutely yeah you know, one of my happiest and most joyful memories with you is a uh, sunrise on um, Hilala Karita chanting and dancing the Kalana Hula. Mm -hmm. It was a very special ceremony. So, how have the Hula dance and the Lomi Lomi massages enhanced your life and maybe complemented the Huna teaching? Okay, well, movement is really important for, for uh, staying healthy. And at least that's part of my EK, my understanding of my my belief and what happens when I when I first discovered the hula and the lomi lomi it was a surprise passion but it was an application of the chance to move in a way that helped others so kalana hula is a way to move our physical bodies creating an energy field through our awareness our attention we share that energy field and we harmonize our surroundings in the dancing of the hula, very similar stories were sh shared that were teaching stories. And this kind of sharing often helped heal the people who were doing it, performing it, and the ones who were watching it. So the doing of the hula is a very healing motion. And the lomi lomi that I learned is a lomi that you have to move in a very graceful way so you cannot disturb what your hands and arms are doing to help the person's muscles relax. So the hula, which divides the energy field of the upper body and the lower body, allows the lower body to generate motion and energy, and the upper body to do the work it needs to do. So it was a perfect coming together. And well, hula is all about how to help ourselves live a good life, but also how to help others. Shaman applies that new knowledge for helping others. So the Lomi and the Hula were ways to do that. Thank you. you know, the Kalana Hula, I already teach in my seminars as well, but not more than that. <laughs> so yet. I have to go for more into Hula. I love it. So please maybe add from a female perspective why Hula? What is it about Huna that helps people so much? My response to that may not have to do with me being female, but it has to do with the fact that I found it a very simple system, very easy to remember, and therefore easy to apply. As were Serge's books, so easy to understand what he was conveying. And I want to be like that when I share. I want to it's very deep. There's a lot you can gain from understanding the universe, but it's so easy. It's so easy to remember it. And so I work as a um, practitioner and a teacher, repetition of things that are serving you so that it becomes a habit that's easy. Replacing detrimental habits of criticism, you know, seeing the negative, which is something I was very good at. And as a healer, I wanted to be seeing the good in the world. So that has, it can become a habit too. So the repetition of the good stuff. And I would say feminine really tends to look toward that good stuff. So I must have a lot of masculinity somewhere because I was criticizing, criticizing. 
I was fighting the bad things here in the islands and on the mainland where I lived, not realizing what a connection it had to my physical health. And now I realize you can do that, but you're going to suffer. Better to be for the good stuff and really hold that vision. So for me, what, I, what I've taken is to look at the world, and this is the real crux of it. Look at the world. Don't hide from what is. Learn about what's going on in your village and the greater global village. See it, but don't criticize it. See what's going on, and then at the same time you are holding that vision of what is, you overlay a vision of what could be, what you really love to see existing. And then somehow the two harmonize, the stronger vision of what could be. You charge that with the best of your mind and let that vibrate, and the other one just dissipates. So that holding the dual focus is really important, especially in today's world situation. Absolutely. And always, you know, remembering, not criticizing, but having the other spirit for yourself, for others. Yes. I think that's, you know, that, that's the main focus. And if everybody would have that focus, oh, what a different world. world. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, mahalo, big time. Thank you, Susan, yes, thank for, you for being here. I look forward to seeing you in Austria. Absolutely. Mahalo.